please all of you turn over the page number page number is 53 sorry 55 page number 55 uh, question number 16 17 and 18 question number 16 17 and 18 this three question you have to discuss so first question um, a high trade of what is about that uh, high trade of second period alkali metal a high trade of second period alkali metal a on reduction with compound of boron compound of boron to give a reducing agent is c one of the problem identify a b is a b and c this is our question here a high trade of second period alkali metal a second period alkali metal a means uh, alkali metal a hydride hydride means all of you know that term hydrogen second period alkali means all of you know that one this is about the lithium we are telling about the lithium hydride so we know that one a means lithium hydride okay here lithium hydride a one of the compound lithium hydride a on reaction with the compound b that is about the boron boron compound boron compound already we learned thoroughly about the boron compound um, that is about that a diborane am i right a diborane what is the formula of diborane b2h6 a diborane that is about that boron compound this boron compound which give an reducing agent is c one of the very good reducing agent all of you know that one one of the very good reducing agent is lithium borohydride lithium borohydride that is about that libh4 libh4 this is about that problem we have to discuss so one by one we can be discuss so all of you know that one the first one a is what first means uh, lithium hydride that is hydride of second period alkali metal second period alkali metal that is about that lithium hydride a means what lithium hydride this lithium hydride reacts with reacts with um, boron compounds boron compounds that is a diborane in our textbook having diborane that is b what is the formula of b diborane b2h6 so i am going to write the equation lih that is lithium hydride on reacts with b2h6 b2h6 what's the name of the compound diborane the presence of ether we get one of the compound that is called lithium borohydride the formula li b h4 li b h4 okay li b h4 so how can you balance the equation in the reactant side diborane that is b2 two boron having so the product side also make it 2 so 2 li b h4 2 li b h4 so how much lithium is there in the product side 2 so make it the reactant side also 2 now the equation is balanced so we have to write the name of the compound we have to make on table or column first uh, we have to write the compound compound a b and c compound a b and c compound a means uh, we know already we discuss lithium hydride li h lithium hydride so what's the name of the compound lithium hydride you have to write name you have to make it um, one of the table form one is about that compound second one is about the formula third one is about the name okay three uh, we can be write one more uh, one more table column like we can be write the serial number okay there is serial number first we have to write the serial number esl number first one that is about that one one can men select one that is compound a compound b compound c one two three like that uh, second about that b 
boron compound. What is that one? B2 high 6. What is about the B2 high 6 name? Diborane. Diborane. Next about C. Formula LIBH4. So, one of the reduced agent we get, that is a, which reduced agent? Lithium borohydrate. So, I have to write the name. Lithium borohydrate. This is the question number 16. The question number 17. Question number 17. A double salt which contain fourth period alkali metal. Fourth period alkali metal A. On heating at 500 Kelvin gives B. Equal solution of B gives white precipitate. And gives a red color compound with alisarin. Identify A and B. Here. A double salt. All of you know about that uh, double salt. What is, what is about the double salt? Many times we discussed that one. Double salt. Double, double salt means we, are, we can simply say potash alum. Am I right? Potash alum. That is about what? Double salt. So, that already we, uh, we know that one. Double salt. Uh, potash alum. So, what is the formula of potash alum? K2SO4. Al2 SO4 thrice 24 H2O 24 H2O once again please tell that formula Al2 sorry K2 SO4 Al2 SO4 thrice 24 H2O this is what potash alum okay anyhow this potash alum on heating at 500 Kelvin, here the 24 water molecules is removed. Okay, the 24 water molecule is removed. So we get a, uh, another alum called the band alum. Band alum. That is compound B. So compound A means what? Potash alum. Compound B means what? Band alum. Can you understand, my dear children? So, you have to write down a table of uh, column. First, you have to write serial number. Second column, how to write compound. Third, formula. Fourth, name. So, serial number one, that is compound A. What is the formula of potash alum? K2SO4 dot Al2SO4 thrice dot 24H2O. What's the name of the compound? Potash alum. Potash alum. Second one, serial number two. So compound B. What's the formula? K2SO4 Al2SO4 thrice Al2SO4 thrice What's the name? Band alum Band alum Dear children, what more point in our textbook? Here the aqueous solution of B gives white precipitate with the barium chloride and gives a red color compound with alisarin. Identify A and B. Here, in aqueous solution of band alum means that about that. Uh, what is the formula here? Potassium sulfate and also aluminum sulfate. So, this band alum contains you know, potassium ion. Um, Sulfate ion, aluminium ion, am I right? So, here the sulfate ion reacts with barium chloride, barium chloride. Okay, this sulfate, sulfate ion on reacts with the barium chloride, 
we get a white precipitate of barium sulfate radicals barium sulfate ions barium sulfate so how to write the equation barium chloride barium chloride barium chloride uh, that uh, potassium that sulfate radicals on reacting so4 2 minus ion gives barium combines with the sulfate barium combines sulfate to form barium sulfate and also we get chloride ion cl minus that is we can be right 2 cl minus equation is balanced next here the band alum and another one one more another one more ion is present that is about the aluminium this aluminium ion reacts with alisarin solution we get a red colored compound red colored compound next our textbook the last question question number 18 question number 18 carbon monoxide is a reducing agent carbon monoxide is a reducing agent justify with an example justify with an example we know that one uh, carbon monoxide is act as a strong reducing agent am i right it's a very good strong reducing agent carbon monoxide is a strong reducing agent here carbon monoxide reduces one of a metallic oxide metallic oxide into uh, metals metallic oxide is into metal here i am taking one of the metallic oxide i am taking one of a metallic oxide means iron oxide fe2o3 okay this iron oxide this iron oxide fe2o3 and reacts with carbon monoxide co carbon monoxide we get fe plus fe plus the carbon combines with sorry carbon monoxide combines with oxygen carbon monoxide combines with oxygen we get carbon dioxide co2 then how can you balance the equation my dear children how can you balance the equation the reactant said how much ion is there two ion so make it product said two am i right now reactant said how much oxygen having the ion oxide if we if we do three three oxygen so how to make it three carbon dioxide in the product side so three carbon says come to the reactant said three co now the equation is balanced 